I'm going to be talking about one of the things that has had a huge impact on me this year. And it's helped me dug out the real me. One of the few places I've felt a sense of belongingness. Life plug in summit. I tell people that if I walked around naked at the summit, I'd be 100% comfortable. And that's because on a spiritual and a mental level, I've already stripped down a lot of the layers that covered me. So, the physical level doesn't really matter now, does it? What created this magic and gave me the sense of belongingness comes from the intent and the values with which this experience was curated. The values of friendship, of growth, play, and having humility in your greatness. All this came together to curate the Disneyland of personal growth. An experience to make you look in the mirror where the only reflection you see is inward. Where you cannot ignore the beauty and the power that lies within you under all the darkness that's made you, you. Where you accept and make peace with who you are. You start to love your imperfections, your journey. In the process. I often think about this one line. If I were in another person's shoes and relived each and every single experience they have lived, I would be sitting, breathing, thinking and doing exactly what they are doing. So, empathy. We've been made this way. Given these experiences, subjectively good and bad, but all to teach us something that helps us grow and evolve. So the grand meaning you might ask, well, this is where I step out of the frame that's been given to us. I mean the frame of the human experience and look why the perspective of the soul jump from one human experience to another till it attains the wisdom it needs to move on to the next dimension. In the state, the true state, where singularity is observed, there is no you and I, everything and nothing, it's all the same. It's you versus you every single time. That's the game of life. I think it all starts with believing that there is more to this life. There is more to each and every single one of us living, breathing and thriving. When that belief is imbibed and lived with, self-belief of human potentiality is no longer a barrier and everything will flow and come to you. You just do your job and observe. And while looking back, you connect the dots through the experiences life gives you, the people you meet, the books you read, and the thoughts the universe will send upon you. You'll be able to see how you were on the right path all along. So realize this and trust. Understand that you're still living the journey and this is where you're meant to be right now. Listening to this and feeling what you are. Be grateful because you are full of greatness. I'd like to thank the energy at the summit and for every being, for being themselves, for being wonderful, creating a safe space and allowing themselves to look deep, deep, deep within. It starts with breaking through the physical bondages of life as we know it gradually facilitate a rise in awareness and consciousness. One day, I believe the majority of the planet will seek the truth within and will come back to this truth and each will realize it from within and be elevated to hear the soul's cry, to see the bigger picture. In personal development will be an industry it will be the norm.
if you've seen Vishane coming up on every fucking ad, Peter <laughs> is the guy to blame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's imagine. really good content, no <laughs> doubt about it. I think it helps people. But yeah. fuck, like. Well, the thing works. I go on YouTube right now, I guarantee you in the next three videos I will see an ad. That's the idea of it. Yeah. yeah.